Hi children, are you ready for another fun-filled learning session? Teacher Joy is here once again telling you that there is power in reading, there is strength in learning. You're on Deped TV, your key to being smart. I am Teacher Joy, I'm always here at your service, come and join me sing. Listen to stories and learn vocabularies It's a magical thing When you finally learn to read It's a light in your life That you'll always carry with a smile La 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 Welcome to the exciting world of English 4. Today, we are going to work on different activities together so that at the end of this lesson, you will be able to get the meaning of words through word association or analogy and classification. There are a lot of reading materials that you can use to widen your vocabulary. You only need to be very eager to look for them and to be ready to explore the world of words. Being able to effectively group words together and identify connections help you to better understand the information presented while adding new words to your vocabulary. It's reading time again, reading time, it's reading time again, reading time. There will be lots of stories of fabulous things and there'll be lots of stories of kings and queens. It's reading time again, reading time, it's reading time again, reading time. It's a world of adventure for us to see, imaginations can be captured for you. Reading time, it's reading time again Reading time, it's reading time again Reading time Hi kids! Oh, these? I'm trying to find out what are the things I have learned in my subject Can you help me answer this activity? Oh, thank you! Read the following groups of words and identify the subject where you learn the following topics. The subjects that we will choose from are written inside the box. The first group of words are gardening, sewing, and computer encoding. What do you think is the subject that is identified in this group of words? Did you say edukasyon pantahanan at pangkabuhayan? Oh, you're right! Gardening, sewing, and computer encoding are lessons learned in Edukasyong Pantahanan at Pangkabuhayan, or EPP. For the second group of words, I have heroes, Filipino cultures, and natural resources. Can you help me identify the subject where I learned those topics? I think we have the same answer, and that is Araling Panlipunan. We can learn about heroes, Filipino cultures, and natural resources in the subject Araling Panlipunan. The third group of words, heat, energy, water cycle, and temperature, are the topics I learned from which subject? Do you think the answer is science? Correct! We can learn about heat energy, water cycle, and temperature in our lessons in science. How about the topics fractions, decimals, and division? What subject am I looking for? Can you help me? I think these topics can be found in the mathematics subject. Fractions, decimals, and division can be learned in mathematics. Here is the last group of words, verbs, 
adjectives, and pronouns are topics that I learned from what subject? Oh, I think the topics are pertaining to my favorite subject. What do you think? If your answer is also English, then you're awesome! We can learn about verbs, adjectives, and pronouns in the English subject. Look at that! We finished the activity in no time because we did it together. Thank you for helping me. Can you help me find the missing letters to complete the word? This word is what we looked for in our last activity. The letters inside the boxes will help you think of the word that we are looking for. I'm going to give you two seconds to think hard. What word are we looking for? We are looking for the word similarities. We analyzed the connections or similarities among the given words in our last activity and were able to think of the subject where you learn the set of topics or skills given. Do you know what we just did? What we just did is called word classification. Word classification is a skill of grouping related words together. Words can be classified or grouped according to ways in which they are similar. Here is some help to better understand our lesson. You can choose your answers from the gift box. Number 1. A lantern is to Christmas as fireworks are to blank. What do you think is the word that can be paired with fireworks? Right! It can be paired with the word New Year. Second item. A carabao is to farmer as a ranger is to blank. What do you think is the word that we can relate to the word reindeer? If your answer is Santa Claus, then you are correct. Reindeer can be paired with Santa Claus. The next item is number three. Christmas is to Santa Claus as Valentine's Day is to blank. Can you find the word that is best paired with the word Valentine's Day? Awesome! Cupid can be paired with Valentine's Day. For number four, repentance is to the Lenten season as merrymaking is to blank. Hmm, can you tell me what can be paired with the word merrymaking? You're right! Merrymaking can be paired with Christmas. And for the last item, number 5. Muslims are to mosque as Christians are to blank. If a mosque is the place of worship for Muslims, what can be the place of worship for Christians? Awesome! The answer is a church. How was it, children? Did you find our activity easy? What helped you find out the word that completed each sentence? Similarities! Correct! We found the words that completed each sentence by looking for their similarities and relationships with one another. By the way, the two words we have just paired show analogy. An analogy is a comparison of two things that may have similar or opposite characteristics or features. It is important to note the relationship between the first pair before going to the next pair of words. Here are other examples. Gift is to Christmas Day as Red Rose is to Valentine's Day. Gifts are everywhere on Christmas Day, just the same with roses on Valentine's Day. I think you're more than ready for another activity for you to indulge in. For analogy, you have to choose the letter of the word that will complete each sentence. Write your answer on a clean sheet of paper. Number 1. A lion is to animal as rose is to blank. Letter A. 
flower. Letter B, grass. For letter C, it's plant. And for letter D, roots. If your answer is letter A, flower, then you are correct. For number two, grass is to soil as seaweed is to blank. Letter A, air. Letter B, garden. For letter C, it's pot. And for letter D, it's water. Do you have letter D as your answer? You got it! The answer for number two is water. And now for number three. Elbow is to arm. As the knee is to blank. Is it letter A, finger? Or letter B, leg? Could it be letter C, nose? Or maybe it's letter D, walking? Is your answer letter B? Yes, you got it! Knee is to leg. Here is another activity for word classification. You have to find the best way to classify the words in each box. Write the letter of the correct answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. Cupcakes Brownies Cookies Letter A. They are made of meat. Letter B. They are made with sugar, flour, and milk. Letter C. They are made with vegetables. Number two, milk, juice, tea. Letter A, you can cook them. Letter B, you can drink them. Letter C, you can eat them. Number three, dentist, teacher, scientist. Letter A, they are mostly men. Letter B, they are all professionals. Letter C, they are mostly women. Are you ready to check your answers for this activity? Great! For number one, the answer is letter B. The group of words cupcakes, brownies, cookies, they are all made with sugar, flour, and milk. For number two, the answer is letter B. You can drink milk, juice, and tea. For number three, the answer is also letter B. Dentist, teacher, scientists are all professionals. Are you still up for another activity? I'm sure you're just as enthusiastic as I am to learn more. But before we do that, let us first summarize the important points you learned from our lesson. Word classification is a skill of grouping related words together. Words can be classified or grouped according to ways in which they are similar. The comparison of two things called analogy may have similar or opposite characteristics or features. Do you think you can work on your own now? Of course you can! Don't worry, all the discussions we had earlier will help you in this activity. Ready, set, go! For letter A, analogy. Choose the letter of the word that completes each sentence. Number 1. A banana is to yellow as a grape is to blank. Is it letter A, brown? Letter B, orange? Letter C, red? Letter D, violet? For number two, fire is to hot as ice is to blank. 
Is it letter A, cold? Or B, dry? Letter C, look warm? Or letter D, warm? Number three, a mango is to fruit as a squash is to blank. Letter A, animal. Letter B, tree. Letter C, toy. Letter D, vegetable. For number four, ring is to finger as shoes is to blank. Is it letter A, animal, B, feet, C, hair, D, hands? And for the last item, number five, a kitten is to cat as kids is to blank is it letter a cow letter b dog letter c goat letter d pig and now let us go to letter b word classification the words in the box for number six are Hammer, saw, screwdriver. Letter A, they are all instruments. Letter B, they are all tools. Letter C, they are all utensils. The words in the box for number 7 are Ducks, Cow, Pigs. Letter A. They are all birds. Letter B. They are all farm animals. Letter C. They are all fish. The words in the box for number 8 are Skirt, Pants, Shirt. Letter A. They are all body coverings. Letter B, they are all pieces of clothing. Letter C, they are all rainy day clothes. The words in the box for number 9 are Independence Day, Ramadan, Labor Day. Letter A, they are all holidays. Letter B, they are all months. Letter C, they are all reunions. The words in the box for number 10 are Shepherd, Farmer, Veterinarian. Letter A, they all live in the desert. Letter B, they all sail in the ocean. Letter C, they all work with animals. Done? Good! Let us now check your work to see how well you understood our lesson. The answer for number 1 is letter D. For number 2, it's letter A. The third answer is letter D. The answer for number 4 is letter B. For number 5 is letter C. And for number 6, the answer is letter B. For number 7, it's letter B. For number 8, it's letter B. The answer for number 9 is letter A. And for number 10, the correct answer is letter C. Congratulations on a job well done! 
you were able to master the skill in our lessons and it means you can still do more. It is so much fun, right? Before I go, I'd like to know Did you have fun in learning with me? Before I go, I'd like to say Thank you for sharing your day Well, that's about it for now! I'm sure we will have fun learning even more in English 4 with yours truly, Teacher Joe.